Good evening, Church on the Go. Welcome in the Lord Amen. to our Thursday evening live stream. It's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just before the hour, actually. And it's Thursday, June the 4th, 2020. Thank you for joining us, and we uh, welcome you to join in, participate as we worship the Lord. Amen. You can make a joyful noise with the hands, with the voice. If you're alone at home, it shouldn't make much of a difference to your neighbors or anybody else. Right? You can sing with a loud voice, you can praise God, you can clap the hands, give the Lord all the praise and glory. Amen. Also, we want to uh, remind you that we are keeping cool Amen. in this building. It's cool <laughs> to be at church, man, because we have the air conditioning running in the background. If, that's what, if you hear that little buzz, that's what that is. Um, and I sure hope you have air conditioning where you are as well. <laughs> praise God, because if you're anything like me, I'm not a big fan of heat and humidity combined. It's, it gets to be a little bit much, praise God. So, praise God, we got air conditioning. Amen. And um, also, you will be able to find all of the graphics that we're using tonight, plus more. Because we always have more than what we can share on yeah. one night, yeah. right? So, we have all the graphics plus more on the link that you see on your descriptions on your screen right there. Amen. So, um, also, uh, this video will be uploaded to YouTube later on. It'll probably be ready overnight on Friday morning. So uh, you can go to churchonthego.ca and it'll likely be Friday morning when you see that YouTube video will be on the playlist. All right, right on the front page there, it'll be ready to go. You can share that with both your Facebook friends and those that aren't on Facebook. Praise God. So let's pray. Father, we yes, thank you. Lord. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name for you are the God of the whole earth. You are the king upon the throne. Yes, Lord. You are the one standing on the right hand of the Father. Jesus. You are the king upon the throne. You are sovereign over the nations. And Thank Father, you, you are sovereign over all. So Lord, we bless you. We worship you. You are uh, a God of compassion and mercy. Yes. You are also a God of justice. But mercy and justice meet together in Jesus Amen. Christ. All It's like the two beams of the cross that meet yes, together Lord. at Jesus Christ. Yes, the two Lord. beams of the cross, mercy and justice, they meet together. And ju yes, justice Lord. is served and mercy is delivered. Amen. Mercy is given because justice was accomplished by Jesus on the cross. Amen. So we thank you, Father, that, Lord, we can have both mercy and justice at the same time. We just yes, point Lord. to the cross. We just point to the cross of Jesus Christ. Yes, and we Lord. thank you, Father, that we have the freedom to, uh, to worship you, to follow you, to, to walk with you on a daily basis, Father, both as individuals and as churches, Lord. Well, even yes, though we may Lord. be dispersed right now, Lord, you have united us in your spirit. Thank we have God. one mind, the mind of Christ, in the God. mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Father, that you keep us of one mind, keep us of the mind of Christ, the head yes, of the body, Lord. Lord. And we are uh, in your we, we are in your presence right now. So we love you, we worship you. Guide our worship tonight, Lord, thank as we Lord. follow by your Holy Spirit. I need your Holy Spirit. We need your Holy Spirit. Let us follow in your footsteps. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. So for those of you who, who know me, I'm Pastor Curtis. Uh, and Pastor Steve is off camera. And he's going to help us worship. And I hope you will help us worship too. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So uh, whether you've got a little pair of bongos at home or whatever you got, why don't you join in? We're got, we are asking the Lord to take us to the river. Amen. amen. This is a Robin Mark song. And it goes with our theme tonight. Overflow. Amen. God wants to overflow us with the goodness of His Spirit.
to the river. James 3.17, Proverbs 4.27, and 1 Corinthians 1.24. And the James 3.17, I took it from the English Standard Version because of the way the words work. And uh, I just want us to, to say, Lord, how am I behaving online? Yes. How am I behaving in person? Is it, are my actions and words really reflecting the wisdom from above? Well, here's a way for us to know. Let's sing it together.
presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Gentle and powerful. Amen. A lot of people mistake gentleness with weakness. Yeah. That ain't so. No. Gentleness and power, they go together. Right on. They meet in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we are going to sing one more song because we need the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must operate by the Holy Spirit, otherwise it's just like dry bones. Yeah. You know, it becomes like dry kibble or something. <laughs> It, it, we need to have the moisture, we need to have the flowing of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise it just becomes dry bones religion. Yeah. And we want to operate in every way through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ever hear that parable of the knock of importunity? Amen. Well, sometimes I have to apply that a principle to this TV. <laughs> Just keep knocking until someone answers. <laughs> In this case, I have to keep pushing the button until it works. Yeah, praise well. God. It's a great TV, praise God. We're thankful for it. But <laughs> sometimes you have to keep trying until you actually get an answer. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Amen. So, uh, not by might, Lord. Amen. Not by power. Amen. Not by man's strength. Yes. Not by woman's strength. Amen. Not by any uh, organization. Not by any other means. Yeah. But by the Spirit. Let's worship the Lord.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, it's Pastor Steve with Pastor Curtis. So uh, we welcome you here tonight on this warm, uh, late spring uh, evening. And it's starting uh, to feel more like summer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the humidex is around 30. So yeah, it pushed up around 30 according to my phone. 30 centigrade. But if you happen to be in the or Celsius, if you're in another part of the world. Yeah, you'll have to convert that if yeah. you're in the states. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do conversions up here very well. So we welcome you here tonight and uh, we thank all who have been uh, graciously supporting us and we've always said there's three different ways of supporting us. Yep. Moral support, uh, start with moral support, uh, liking the videos uh, or the live streams and forwarding them to your friends. Yeah, sharing them around is great. And uh, we appreciate all that kind of moral support and uh, secondly is the prayerful support. We need the prayerful support yes. of God's people Please during this time. Yeah. And uh, thirdly is our uh, financial support. So we have our, our uh, address and uh, the going up uh, uh, graphic here. And uh, we thank all for their prayerful offering support. And some have uh, slid it in under the door and some have mailed it in. And some have uh, handed it to us. So we thank everyone uh to enable us to stay about two-thirds of our income is continued on during these last few months yeah. and uh, we thank god for that but our expenses are down yeah. so it helps to level the playing field a bit and uh, yeah. if we have less expenses and our down, uh, giving is down about a third so uh, we we thank god for all the support that allows us to carry on by the grace of God. Amen. And I just want to interject really quickly. Thank you again for the moral support. Uh, we've uh, collectively had over a thousand views of our videos. Over, over of the, the live stream. Of the live stream videos. Now I'm not talking about all of our videos. I'm talking specifically live streams yeah. on YouTube and Facebook combined. We've had over a thousand views. Yes. So thank you Amen. for watching. We, we have many uh, edited videos of oh, this we man have a, has done a lot of work over the years. Editing. With his teaching. He's <laughs> got packaging videos, but uh, but the live streams we really only started that at the beginning of yes. this. Yes, uh, really. I think March 29th was our first live yeah. stream, yeah. and since then you guys have shown us a great support, yeah. and I really appreciate yeah. that. We appreciate that. That's part of the package of supporting yes. us. And so now we have well over a thousand views on that. On we, just the live streams alone. Yes. Yes, and so we appreciate that. So also, of course, we have the hashtag 220. Uh, for anybody that's dropping by, we do have folks that drop by from time to time and uh, buzz us, and then we can buzz them in, uh, just like an apartment building, into yeah, the very simple into the building here. So praise God. So uh, as we uh, we are going to be continuing on dealing with some of the themes that flow out of the uh, Pentecost Sunday for the next little while, but we're looking forward uh, to uh, the direction that the Lord has us going in at the present time and uh, there's some graphics that you will notice on your um, on your uh, Google link here yep, in the description. Uh, that has to do with some future aspects we have taught a lot over the years about uh, being um, uh, witnesses uh, lamps uh, uh, doing our father's business in the marketplace uh, kingdom business that's right We've talked about a lot of ambassadors for Christ. We've used a lot of these different themes. And um, we have, uh, we are kind of uh, moving towards uh, using the, you'll see it on the far screen as well as on this screen here, the Ministry of Presence, which is the church as marketplace chaplains going right. forward. Because yeah. we realize that a lot of folks are hurting and they need uh, individuals who are uh, willing to come alongside and encourage them or pray with them or uh, help them in some small way you know so uh, so we're going to be focusing on this uh, theme as we go forward but tonight we're going to be talking about the overflow and uh, this is uh, 
And I realize when we talk about the Holy Spirit and the work of the Holy Spirit, there's a lot of different aspects. But this is one of the ways that uh, I feel that we can uh, uh, share it with you, perhaps in a in a new way. And we're going to go first of all, Curtis, to Luke chapter three, verses sixteen and seventeen. And uh, you see a little graphic here, and we'll explain it a little bit to you. Here you have Christ in view, the hope of glory. Uh, which is from Colossians, and uh, a little bit of a definition of what we're talking about, but we'll ex explain it some more as we as we go along here. So um, uh, the overflow is uh, the work of the baptizer. Amen. Yes. And uh, we're going to read uh, John the Baptist's uh, definition of uh, what Jesus would do in Luke chapter three, sixteen and seventeen. Okay. So, folks, do you have your Bibles? Amen. Let's get the inside story now. Amen. Don't just read the headlines. <laughs> Let's open it up and find out what's actually going on Amen. here. Luke 3, yeah. verses 16 and 17. Yes. Amen. Let's read together. John answered and saying to all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Amen. So last week we talked about four symbols of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The wind, the uh, water, which is the flowing out of uh, the rivers of living water that are to flow out of our belly. Yes. Um, the fire and uh, the dove. So we shared those four symbols with you last week. So here you'll notice a little interesting statement. John says, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Yeah. Now, I don't want to make a big issue about this because we know that the Holy Spirit was revealed on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 with fire above their heads. Um, but the interesting thing is the fire is the consuming fire that he describes here as burning up the uh, chaff of the threshing floor. Amen. So um, that's the work or the cleansing work or the sanctifying work, uh, the purging work of the fire of God, the consuming fire. We sang the consuming fire last week. We did, actually. And, um, and so that's the... Uh, the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit, but the baptizing with the Holy Spirit. In my Bible, interestingly enough, I don't know if you still have it open there, chapter yep, 3 and 16, but you'll notice in the column there, Curtis, and where it says verse 16, it points us to John chapter 7. Verse 39. Yeah, so we're going to read in John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. And uh, Jesus describes the work of the Holy Spirit, which will bring us to this graphic here. Yeah. Uh, so John 37, 7, verses 37, 38, 39. Yes. 38, 39. You know what I'm going to say, folks? Read along with me. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> On the last day, that yes. great day of the feast, Jesus stood and tried out, saying, so he's not quiet about this, by the way, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Take us to the river, Lord. Amen. That's the song we sing tonight. Amen. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit. So we're being clear now. Yes. He whom the, those believing in him should receive, or would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. 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 So, interestingly enough, the work of the Holy Spirit will be, as this passage says, like rivers of living water flowing out. And now we could describe and take time here in John 20. It talks about how Jesus entered into the room and breathed on them, said, receive the Holy Spirit but then also told them to tarry until they be endued with power from on high in right. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Amen. And 10 days after his, uh, his ascension, they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now interestingly enough, out of your belly or out of your heart, some translations say, 
shall flow rivers of living water. So the work of the baptizer is to uh, come down upon and uh, overwhelm. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, uh, when you uh, look at some of the passages where it says that the Holy Spirit came upon them, it says he overwhelmed them or he uh, came upon them and there was like an overflow of the water, which reminds me, you know, of some little choruses that we have sung over the years, uh, and uh, we'll probably talk about that in a few moments. But the the, the spirit of God wants to overflow us and pour out from us and, and minister to other people. How are we doing through our Good. lives to impact our our awesome. soul? All right, uh, mind, will, and emotions, and body, and others by the power of the go. living God. Amen. Praise God. We got Brother Joe on the phone again. Brother Joe. Blessings, brother. How are you tonight? Hello. Amen. Good to hear from you, brother. What What's God saying to you tonight, brother? Well, I was thinking about uh, thinking about the how God is uh, how He created everything and uh, about how He loves us. And about Amen. life and uh, all of these things, and so I kind of wrote a, a few points down. Amen. And <laughs> I can I can read them to you. Amen. And right. so I, I put it down this way that the way we look at things around when an artist captures what he sees, Amen. And he places it on a canvas. Right. Yes. How he sees the beauty. He records it and puts it in color. Right. We are to see and record and appreciate. And what comes out of that is a sense of fulfillment and contentment. Amen. Now, what we see, we just can't go there and put it uh, and put it in uh, put our arm put our arms around it. And then bring it and put it on the canvas. Right. We can't do it like that. Right. We see it. We think about it. Amen. We have vision. We have ideas. Right. Our mind works through our hands and draws it out and colors it. Yes. And in the way that we personally see it each and every one of us. And each person puts it together in, in his own unique way. Amen. We are all different. Yeah. But we are all special. Everything around us, God has made. Amen. He right. is the creator. Amen. He made everything beautiful. Amen. We can, as artists, which is a gift, Amen. paint a part of his beautiful Creation. Amen. Only God has the power to create and to give life. Amen. We are unique. And in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, it says, The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed it into Amen. his nostrils the breath of life. That's right. Amen. And the man became a living being. Yes. And in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, yes. So God created man in his own image. Amen. We are special. Yes. Right. The beauty of God is reflected in the beauty of man. Amen. And the beauty of the whole universe. Amen. And what is God like? And so I was looking at Exodus uh, chapter 34, verse 6. I'll read just a, a, a little bit of it. The Lord passed for Moses. Yes. And he proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, our Amen. God, merciful yes. and gracious, yes. Yes. slow to anger Amen. and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, Amen. keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Amen. That's his character. Yeah. That's how much he loves us. Amen. Each person has great value. 
no matter the race or the color, yeah. each person must be protected. Yes. Unfortunately, man fell. Yeah. And the sins of man ruined the beauty. Amen. Ruined the value that is destructive. Instead of upholding precious life, it is lives that are destroyed. Mm -hmm. When That's God breathed into us, he breathed love upon us. Mm -hmm. And our love for God must increase as well as our love for our neighbor. So when we uphold life, we are lovers of God. Amen. That's but when right. we destroy life, yeah. we have no love no. in us. That's true. And David, in Psalm chapter 8, verse 3 to 5, he said, When I consider your heavens, yeah. the work of your fingers, yeah. the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? Mm -hmm. The son of man that you care for him. Mm -hmm. You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings yes. and crowned him with glory Amen. and honor. Yes. David saw and reflected on all that God has made, yes. the vastness of it, Amen. and he understood. He appreciated it. Amen. So we must also appreciate yes. Amen. and be very grateful for everything God has done for us. Amen. He proved his love. God actually proved his love for us. Amen. In Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his love for us oh, yes. Amen. That while we were still sinners. Amen. Christ. Died for us. Right on. Amen. Right on. That's and excellent. John chapter 3 16. Yes. For God so loved the world Amen. that he gave his one and only Son. Amen. That yeah. whoever believes in him Amen. shall not perish, right. but have eternal lust. Amen. And then it goes on in verse 17. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. Right. But to Give peace to us. 
yes. touched the hearts of everyone that everyone would call upon your name, Jesus, your name, Lord, and that all, none should perish, but all would have eternal yes, Lord. life. Amen. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Joe. We appreciate Amen. you. Thank you. Great, great to be with you. All right. God bless you. Good to hear Amen. from you, Brother Joe. We appreciate you. Yes. Thank Blessings. You, I appreciate you guys. Amen. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, Joe. Bless you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Amen. So we're grateful for Brother Joe calling in, as he does quite often on Thursday nights and shares with us. So we were talking about choruses, old choruses that uh, reflect this truth. Uh, you know, in Sunday school, we used to sing a little chorus, running over. I don't know if, Curtis, you want to give yes. me a key to see there, but uh, yeah. we'll uh, sing that little chorus, running over, running over, and my cup is full and running over. That's what we want is the overflow of the Holy Spirit out of our lives. Run, running over. singing that little chorus and that's what happens when we are baptized when he comes upon us he overwhelms us and we overflow with his presence it impacts our soul our body and other people now in the Old Testament there was a prophet that talked about the glory of the Lord filling the earth as the waters covering the sea now, we have sung a little chorus that comes out of Habakkuk 2.14 yep. over the years, and actually it has the potential of being a double fulfillment, a double fulfillment. First of all, it overflows the earth, which is, Brother Joe read it, that we were formed from the dust of the ground. That's right. Amen. God breathed into Adam the breath of life, and we became a living soul. So the earth... He wants to overflow the earth as the waters cover the sea. That's us individually. That is a prophetic utterance towards the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But it will all ultimately be fulfilled when Christ returns and the glory of the Lord fills the earth as the waters cover the sea. Amen. So if we could sing that little chorus together there, uh, Curtis, in Habakkuk 2. 14 all, all over the world. God's Spirit is moving. Amen. All over the world, God's Spirit is moving. All over the world, as the prophet said it would be. has been around for years and years and years. Oh, yeah. It's been expressed differently. And uh, we thank God that he wants to overflow. When the baptizer baptizes us with the Holy Spirit. Now we said here that uh, in John 20, uh, and we referred to this uh, a few moments ago, in John 20 verses 21 to 23, we notice here that uh, Jesus when after he rose from the dead he came and he entered into the room and he told them to receive the Holy Spirit 
This, I believe, is the uh, salvation experience of the disciples. Amen. So, John 20, 21, 22, and 23 right. says, and read along at home. Amen. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. Amen. When he had said, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. This is sort of a comparison to when God breathed on Adam. Right. Right. But this is now the spiritual version of this. Right. Spirit, receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. And if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. So he, when he entered in, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. So when we receive Christ in us, the hope of glory, our spirit is perfect. Yeah. Your soul has all of these roller coasters. Yeah, it has the hills and the valleys. You have the good days and the bad days. I don't like That's coasters. the mind, will, and emotion. You know, it's going up and down. But when the baptizer comes, he wants to give you the overflow. And he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, as, as Curtis read a few minutes ago in Luke chapter 3. We're going to go over to John, uh, sorry, to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus, when he was just before his ascension, in Acts 1 and 8, he told them to, to tarry, to wait. Yeah, it says in verse chapter 1, verse 8 of Acts, it says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Amen. So he told them to tarry. So he, he wasn't confused when he told them already to receive the Holy Spirit, and now he tells them to tarry. So he has another dimension or another level for them to enter into, and that's the baptism, the baptizing work of the Holy Spirit. He wants to come upon them and force the, uh, by his power the Spirit of God to flow out of us like rivers of living water to overwhelm us and to overflow and pour out of us. Let's go over to Acts 2, 1 to 4. Yes. So Acts 2, 1 to 4 says, When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty, rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And there were all, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. 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 So we see that the, the work of the Spirit of God begins to work in them. We begin to see some of the results. They hear a sound of a rushing mighty wind. That was one of the symbols that we referred to. Last week, they see the fire. That's the consuming fire of God. And uh, they begin to speak with other tongues as the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, okay, and they were all filled, verse 4, the Holy Spirit began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. utterance. Yeah. So they began to speak with other tongues. Now, the, the, the purpose of all of this was to be witnesses. That's what Jesus said that they would become in Acts right. 1 and 8, that they would become witnesses. And so the purpose of the overflow is that he over, wants to overwhelm us, you know, um, spiritually, uh, uh, psychologically, and physiologically, or our physical bodies, in order to impact as a witness to other people. And he wants to reach out through us, whether it's the speaking in other tongues, that, that was a witness to the unbeliever, because many heard languages they heard uh, some of the foreigners heard the language in their own tongue yeah right? they were they were uh, journeying from a far land yes. a lot of the dispersed Israelites had come back yes and but they had adopted other languages yes. at that time yes. they've been gone for centuries some yeah. of them so they actually were hearing God being praised in their own tongue right by people who were locals yeah there was no way they would have known that language oh absolutely so it was a sign of the Holy Spirit absolutely now the purpose is to bring joy yeah. uh, and uh, to be a witness. We're going to go to uh, Acts chapter 8 
verse, well, just before we do, Curtis, before we go into Acts 8, let's uh, go down, jump down to verse 11 there. That just uh, verify what you were saying. Just yeah, about yeah, the Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. Amen. So that's the purpose, to be a witness, right? Yeah. To be a witness of the good things of God. God yeah. wants to give us good things. And yes. that's... Uh, what we're going to share about come Sunday is the good things that God wants to give to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Let's go over to Acts chapter 8, verses 5 to 8. And we have the story of Philip. And um, Philip has gone down to Samaria. And in Acts chapter 8, verses 5 to 8, we have the good things that God wants to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Acts chapter 8, verses 5 through 8. Read along with us. Open Amen. your Bibles. Yeah. It says here, Then Philip went down to preach to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. We, we preach Christ who is the wisdom and the power of Amen. God. I just Amen. sang that tonight. Amen. Praise God. But we are, here he is doing it. He's right. preaching Christ to them. Right. Uh, and the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Amen. The miracles are part of normal Bible Christianity. Right on. Right? right. Normal New Testament Christianity involves miracles. Right on. By the Holy Spirit. Amen. For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. Amen. And there was a great joy in that city. Amen. Isn't that amazing? That's really what God wants to do. He wants to bring joy to people's hearts. Yeah, He wants Amen. the joy to be overflowing too. Amen. Amen. I mean, that's another chorus that we've sung. I've got the joy, 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 joy down Amen. in my heart. I mean, He wants to give us joy. Amen, Amen. brother. That's right. <laughs> Praise God. Let's go over to Acts chapter 10, verses 45 and 46. And now we've got Peter at uh, Cornelius' house. And... Um, He's uh, preaching to them the good things of God. Amen. Amen. So Acts 10, verses 45 and 46. Yes. Let's read it together. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished. Uh, so we're talking about Jews here. Yes. Uh, believed and were astonished. Yes. Can you imagine just being astonished? Amen. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> like, picture it in your mind. Make Amen. this, put some imagination into this. Yes. Give it some meaning in your mind. Amen. Because look at this. Amen. They were astonished. Yes. As many as came with Peter. Because, why? The gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. Amen. The non Jews, the non Israelites. Amen. That's big news back Amen. then. Amen. Um, and for they heard them speak with tongues. There's the tongues again. Yes. And magnify God. And then Peter answered, yes. Can anyone forbid water yes. that these should not be baptized? So they went on to water baptism. Which yeah. We'll just, just pause there. Thank you, Curtis. But pause the, the, the whole aspect is that as a witness, the gospel was given. They received Christ as their Savior. So they have Christ in them, the hope of glory. And then he poured out. It says... Those exact words in the New King James. The Holy Spirit had been poured out. Yeah. So he's pouring out of their spirit, impacting the soul, the body, and the others by the power of the living God. And they are experiencing the pouring out or the overflow yeah. of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. Amen. As the baptizer baptizes them. Yeah, amen. We're going to go over to Acts chapter 19, verse 6. Acts chapter 19. All right, Acts chapter 19, verse 6. And this one says, And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Amen. You can prophesy. Amen. So uh, he goes on, and then, of course, they're baptized and so on as well. So, again, we see the results of what God is doing. And uh, Paul's uh, witnessing the Holy Spirit comes upon them. Now, interestingly enough, I'm just looking here, verse... Uh, okay, yeah, there, in my Bible, there was one of the... 
what if the passages I read anyway that I had in my in my uh, cross reference in the center margin there the wh whole aspect of being poured out or overwhelming. So at any rate, that's not the one. So, uh, but uh, the Holy Spirit wants to uh, give evidence that He's there. Yes, amen. amen. <laughs> so He gives joy. He gives miracles. He gives uh, the speaking in tongues. And uh, we're going to get into yeah. that. Uh, if not tonight, we'll get into it some more on Sunday. Because when we speak with God uh, in tongues, that is the simplest form of prayer. And it is the most effective and sincere form of prayer because we're talking to God. Yeah. And we're speaking the mysteries of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul says in chapter 13 of... Uh, of uh, First Corinthians, he says, "If I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not love, it doesn't profit me anything." So we need love. Later on, he says in chapter fourteen of First Corinthians, verse one, that we're to pursue love. That's agape love, yeah. and that agape love is uh, first of all, it shows the affection of God towards other people, and it shows the benevolent love of God towards other people. Amen, amen. You really want all these tools in your tool bag. Amen. You want the, to, to take advantage of what the Holy Spirit gives you. Yes. So the love of God, which is, God is love, right? Yes. And so the nature of God is to be pouring out with mm -hmm. us. It's mm -hmm. not just about signs and wonders and miracles, but the love of God has got to come with it. Yeah. Amen. Otherwise, it doesn't profit us too much. Well, yeah, it has to come in the right packaging. Yeah. If you're not packaging it in love, there's a problem here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to be with the love and the compassion of the Holy right, Spirit. Right, right. So because I see that our, our time is uh, starting to slide away here, we're going to go to one more passage here tonight, and I guess we'll get to 1 Corinthians 14 come Sunday, God willing. And uh, But um, let's go to Mark 16 and verse 17. We're going to go to Mark 16 and 17 because yes, this was part of the Great Commission as recorded in the Gospel of Mark. And uh, Jesus refers to speaking in tongues. That's right. Amen. I've been looking at speaking this passage a lot lately. Yeah. But this is a particular version in that passage. Mark mm -hmm. chapter 16, verse 17. Right. <clears throat> and these signs will follow those who believe. So it's specifically for those who believe. Amen. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Amen. And then it goes on and talks about the laying on of hands, lay hands on the sick, they will recover, and so on, verse 18. Yeah. So Jesus verified that this would be a gift in the Great Commission. And it's part of uh, the, the, the package. But it's ultimately that we might be equipped in prayer and pray the most simple, effective prayer possible because we're praying the mysteries of God if you read in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Yeah. And in your own personal prayer when you pray in tongues you are uh, edified, you are built up. Yeah, you are. And you are encouraged in the things of God. Amen. Amen. So if you are downcast and your your uh, uh, soul Psychologically, your mind, will, and emotions are down. Uh, the suki, which is the soul. Let that river flow. Yeah, the river as it flows out of the pneuma. <laughs> and that's the Greek word I'm referring to here now. And, and it impacts the soul, the suki, and the body, the soma. Amen. As that, as that river is flowing. Now, these are the words that you'll find that in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23. We don't have time to go through it, all that. But... The river is flowing out. Now it's flowing in the love of God. That's what Paul told us, both in 1 Corinthians 13 and in the first verse of 1 Corinthians 14. He said, pursue love. Yes. So that's what we need to do, is to pursue love. And the love of God is pouring out of us to impact other people. So when the baptizer comes, the overflow flows out. We have Christ in us, the hope of glory. We have the Spirit of Christ in us as we receive Christ as Savior and Lord. But when we are baptized with the Holy Spirit, the river flows out. The rivers of living water flow out to impact other people. So we're going to conclude tonight. Uh, before we pray with you, we want to sing again that little chorus, All over the world, God's Spirit is moving. All over the world, 
as the prophet said it would be. This is Habakkuk 2.14, okay? All over the world, God's Spirit is moving. All over the world, as the prophet said it would be. tonight we thank you Lord that the Spirit of God yes, wants Lord. to overflow us. Amen. We're asking that the mighty baptizer of the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus Christ himself, Lord will baptize every person within the sound of our voice tonight yes, Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord that the mighty rivers of living water will flood out from us Lord. Father, that the Holy Spirit will flow out from us and we will overflow, Lord, with the presence of the living God, the glory of God, Father, to minister life. Lord, the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus sets us free from the law of sin and death. And we thank you, Lord, that tonight you want to flow forth. You want to overflow us. You want to baptize us and minister life to others through us that there might be joy in the hearts of God's people, that there might be uh, the signs and wonders and miracles, Father, that God Amen. is at work. Yes, Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, that tonight the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Tonight, if you pray the prayer and ask Jesus to come and live in your life, Christ will come and live in your heart. And you can ask Jesus Christ, who is living in your heart, to do the mighty work of baptizing you with the Holy Spirit, causing His Spirit to overflow you. Amen. So that you might be a mighty witness to other people for, with the, for the glory of God and for the salvation of souls. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we give him all the glory and the praise. We're asking tonight if you're in need of healing, salvation, deliverance, whatever the need is, call upon the name of the Lord that you might be saved. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, Father, I want to welcome, Lord, your Holy yes, Spirit Lord. once again. Lord, your Holy Spirit is welcome in this place. Yes, Lord. You're welcome, you're, your Holy Spirit is welcome in this temple, yes. the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, now, Lord. Now, Father, we want to uh, access all that the Holy Spirit has for us Thank today, you, right Lord. now, this day. Yes, Lord. We want to access the healing. We want to access the joy. We yes, want to Lord. access the speaking in other tongues, Lord. Yes, we Lord. want to access the miracles and the healings. But most of all, we want to access the heart of God. Amen. We want to access the love and the compassion that Jesus felt for us. Yes, Lord. We want to feel that for others. Yes, we want Lord. to present to them the mercy of God. The, Thank you, Lord. The, the, the compassion of God. Thank the you, Lord. grace of God. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, that, that no matter what our past was, it's yes, washed Lord. away by the blood. When we come to the Lord, Amen. we can receive forgiveness for sins. If we would repent, turn our, from our old ways, and just call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, yes, we would Lord. be saved. 
if we would just call on the name of Jesus, Thank you, and Lord. we would believe with all our heart that God raised him from the dead, if we confess with Thank our mouth Lord. that Jesus is the Lord, we will be saved, and not only that, but he will pour out the gift of the Holy Spirit yes, upon Lord. us. He doesn't just stop with barely letting us in the door. Oh no, he gives us everything. Thank he gives Lord. us with his Son all the benefits of salvation and Thank baptism you, of the Holy Spirit with that. Lord, I pray, Father, that people will utilize that which gives the Holy Spirit uh, access to their lives. That, that you, flow Lord. would just come down and through and out of our lives yes, like Lord. a mighty ri rushing river. I pray a blessing upon those that are listening. I pray a blessing upon those that may be listening later on yes, after this Lord. live broadcast. And I pray, Lord, that they would be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus you, to call upon the name of the Lord, to put their trust in Jesus yes, and Lord. give Him all the glory and to let the Holy Spirit flow freely in their yes, lives. Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you and we worship you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen. God bless you. We pray that you have a great weekend. God willing, we'll be with you on Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Yes. And we thank you for sharing the video around. Yeah, please share it around. Tell other people about it. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a great weekend. God bless you.